Hello and welcome to the Young Author Pod and today we will discuss the lower limb fractures with eponyms. Eponymous fractures or the named fractures are frequently asked in exams. There are at least 25 eponymous fractures of the lower limb including the pelvic girdle. We have divided these into two videos. In this one, we are going to discuss a few of these and the remaining in the next part. Let's begin with the Duveni fracture. Duveni fracture is a pelvic fracture involving only the iliac wing. So Duveni fracture is an isolated fracture of the iliac wing due to direct lateral compression force. They are generally stable fractures as they do not disrupt the weight-bearing pelvic ring. In this AP radiograph, you can see isolated fracture of the iliac wing. It is named after Joseph Gaika Duveni, a French anatomist and surgeon. Dashboard fracture A fracture of posterior lip of the acetabulum often associated with posterior dislocation of the hip. The name dashboard fracture refers to a fracture which typically occurs in an automobile accident with impaction of the knee upon the dashboard. This indirect trauma results in fracture of the posterior rim of the acetabulum by the femoral head. This type of fracture is associated with patellar fractures and posterior cruciate ligament rupture. Straddle fracture Straddle means to sit or stand with one leg on the either side of, maybe a bike or horse. A straddle fracture is characterized by bilateral superior and inferior pubic rami fractures. The mechanism of straddle fracture is strong vertical shear injuries such as a fall from height or a motorcycle accident. With straddle fracture, there is a 40% chance of injury to the genitourinary tract, especially the posterior urethra and the urinary bladder in men. Malgain fracture is a type of pelvis fracture resulting from a vertical shear injury in which there is a combination of fractures pubic rami anteriorly and sacroiliac joint or ilium posteriorly on the same side. This leads to disruption of both anterior and the posterior arch resulting in a disconnected hemipelvis. This is an unstable fracture characterized by loss of both vertical and rotational stability of the pelvic ring. The mechanism of injury is high energy impact to the pelvis from front to the back. It is named for Joseph Francois Malgain, a French surgeon and medical historian. The eponymous terms of Duveni fracture and Malgain fracture are now falling into disuse. Both fracture types were identified before radiographic interpretation was available. Present-day imaging techniques and the latest pelvic injury classification systems have led to eponymous terms being less relevant these days. Pipkin's Fracture Pipkin's fracture is classically described as posterior dislocation of the hip with avulsion fracture of the fragment of femoral head by the ligamentum teres. The mechanism of injury is impact to the knee with hip in flexed position as seen in the dashboard injury. There are four types of femoral head fracture. 
in type 1, there is hip dislocation with fracture of the femoral head inferior to the fovea capitis femoris. In type 2, hip dislocation with fracture of femoral head superior to the fovea capitis femoris. In type 3, there is a type 1 or type 2 injury associated with fracture of femoral neck as well. For type 4, there is type 1 or type 2 injury associated with fracture of the acetabular rim as well. It is named after Francis Garrett Pipkin who first described it. Steda fracture It is an aversion fracture of the medial femoral condyle at the origin of medial collateral ligament. It usually results from excessive valgus stress on the knee. When it fails to unite, it is known as a Pellegrini Steda lesion. On radiographs, the aversion fracture near the attachment site of the medial collateral ligament is usually characteristic. It is named after Alfred Steda, who first described it. The second fracture is a type of aversion fracture of the lateral tibial condyle of the knee immediately beyond the surface which articulates with the femur. The mechanism of injury is internal rotation of the knee with varus stress leading to aversion fracture of the lateral tibial condyle. It is frequently associated with disruption of the anterior cruciate ligaments as well almost in 75% of the cases. Bumper fracture It is a comminuted, depressed fracture of the lateral condyle of the tibia. The mechanism of injury is forced valgus of the knee when struck from the side by a car bumper. A bumper fracture is caused by forced valgus applied to the knee. This causes the lateral part of the distal femur and the lateral part of the tibial plateau to come into contact, compressing the tibial plateau and causing the tibia to fracture. In 1929, Cotton and Berg coined the name bumper fracture for the injury caused by the impact of the car bumper against the outer aspect of the extended knee causing forced valgus of the knee. Runner's fracture It is a stress fracture of distal fibula about 3 to 8 cm above the lateral malleolus. The mechanism of injury seems to be repeated axial stress on fibula seen most commonly in athletes, especially runners, and non-athletes who suddenly increase their activity levels, and hence the name runner's fracture. On a plain radiograph, sclerosis and periosteal or endosteal changes may be seen in the fibula after 2-3 to three weeks of onset of symptoms. Pott's fracture is named after Sir Percival Pott, who was an English surgeon. Pott originally described a fracture of the distal fibula around 2 to 3 inches proximal to the ankle joint, with an associated tear of the deltoid ligaments and lateral displacement of the talus. In present times, the POTS fracture has inappropriately evolved into a term to describe a bimalleolar fracture. The mechanism of injury is eversion of the ankle joint.
a trimalleolar ankle fracture is also known as Cotton's fracture. Trimalleolar fracture is a fracture of ankle that involves the lateral malleolus, the medial malleolus and the distal posterior aspect of the tibia which can be termed as posterior malleolus. The trauma is sometimes accompanied by ligament damage and dislocation. It was first described by Frederick J. Cotton in 1915, who was an American orthopedic surgeon. So these were few of the eponymous fractures of the lower limbs. We will be discussing the rest in the next video. I hope you like this video and please let me know in the comments below what other topics that you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.